Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. And you can see my little buddies back there joining us for this. So let us all pray together. Lord, we thank you for our days and the where, the, the where you take us. Lord, the why you've put us where we are. Lord, help us to see what it is what we, that we should do. What are we here to do, to care for, to show? Who are we to help? And Lord, yes, sometimes even ourselves. Lord, help us to be loving of, of who you made us to be, to appreciate this person, not for who we wish we were, but for who you call us to be. And Lord, guide us in your word, especially as we turn to it now together at the who that we discover, the who of you, the who of us. Lord, all these things will be blessed and given purpose by your Holy Spirit that we might in the time to come and the day before us and the days ahead seek to serve and show your love and who we are and who you call us to be with and who you are making us become. Lord, we pray for everyone around us in the journey they also take, that we may journey hand in hand, heart in heart, as your spirit guides us. Even now in Christ we pray. Amen. Mom. Turning to the letter of John, 1 John, reading chapter 3 at 20. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence toward God. There are moments where in our humility or in the reality of life, we are confronted on our limitations. Some of that's our mortality. But some of that too is the nature that God has given us. That some people may be able to achieve more in certain areas than we do and are meant to lead and guide us. And others are weaker, need strength and support. And so we are called to be their framework and build them up. It's especially true when it comes to families. As we look at who we are as a family, not everyone is gifted in the same way, but the gifts come together in a beautiful harmony. And that is the nature we should explore as a church. But to our hearts alone, our ability alone, if we are going at this alone, if we are trying to be spiritual all by ourselves, our hearts condemn us. We'll face our limitations and we'll find limits that we can't pass on our own. But God is greater than our hearts. God knows all things. God knows all people. God knows how we are meant to be working together. And in that, our hearts will not condemn us. And in the fellowship that God has given us as we seek to work and walk in the Lord together, we will walk in confidence towards the Lord as we seek in the journey to heaven how to be the people we are meant to be. God bless and keep you today. Anything to say, bud? Yeah. Yeah? What are you going to say? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Can you say amen? Yeah. You can say it, but you're not going to say it? God bless you. Amen.